Hi friends! My name is Bree and welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! Happy 2020! How is it so far? Is it amazing? If it's not, if it's not, it's okay. We're gonna talk all about it. If you're wondering where I have been, I've been moving around, you know, like always, and I'm in California! Yeah, I'm actually super excited to be here. I'm here with my little Samusamu, who's right here, taking a nap because we just went on. <laughs> I'm still new to the area, so we went on a lock. A lock. We went on a walk, and it ended up being one of the longest walks because I got a little lost. And sometimes I don't bring my phone, but thankfully I brought my phone on this walk, and I was able to navigate us safely back to our home, which here it is, and I would like to show you, so let's go. So, like I said, happy 2020 to y'all. I hope your year is going fantastic. I hope you are seeing many blessings, like blessings are literally raining down upon you. I hope you're surrounded by amazing people or I hope you're figuring out how to be alone and how to be okay with yourself. Like, I hope you're just in a good mind space or a good head space. Like, no matter what is going around, going on around you, excuse me. I have been going through my own things, of course, and I myself made a New Year's resolution, which isn't something I usually do. I'm usually not that New Year, New Me type of bitch, but... Even if I wasn't, I feel like life is kind of forcing me to be that way or it's forcing me to change a lot of things about me and try to improve myself in so many ways. And I think I'm grateful for the world kind of like pushing me and kind of being a little difficult because I'm a difficult person and I realized like I needed... I just needed like a punch in the face from life. And I've also come to realize that the New Year's is so, it's just so dramatic and it's too much. And it's not realistic for everybody. Every time New Year's comes around, like people are always talking about how happy they are or the changes they're making or like, how they're starting out their life better or they're starting out with better people or I don't know like it just seems fake to me and not to say that some people didn't start out the year amazing and if they did like I am honestly jealous of you because I did not start off the year amazing and I was a little sad because I'm such a sentimental person I wanted the beginning of 2020 to be like something magical or just not what it was. You know what I mean? I wanted it to feel like I am in the right direction and I'm doing the right things and my life is so blessed and I'm so lucky and, uh, and everything's perfect when in reality it's not. It's unrealistic to think that everyone is having like a life-changing moment or that their life is totally flipped upside down or they are now in a place where they're happy. And I realized if your timeline does not match up with the world's timeline, that's perfectly fine. And like I said, it would be unrealistic for it to. It wouldn't make sense that everyone in the world is all of a sudden like, oh, I'm so much happier. Or this is so much better. And so... If you didn't have an amazing New Year's Eve night or maybe on the first you just didn't have like an amazing day that you felt like set up the rest 365 days, you know what I mean? Then that's perfectly fine because I've come to the realization that New Year's is not a sudden, my life is perfect, my life is happy. It's like it's a reminder or it's like a punch in the face like I said I needed to look at your life and to reflect and contemplate and to think to yourself is this what I want or am I happy or what can I change 
And when I think about it that way, I realize that New Year's doesn't have to be like fucking perfect and magical and beautiful. It can be a shit show and hopefully you'll learn from it and you'll improve during the year. So I've realized we need to stop looking at New Year's as like this, oh, I'm so perfect and I'm going to start the year perfect and the year's going to be perfect and it's going to be amazing because that's all bullshit and it doesn't make sense that everyone would be having this moment all at the same time. Like if that was true, there probably wouldn't be any wars. Like everyone would just be fucking happy all the time because we'd start the year and we'd be like, well, I'm all good. You're all good. Like, we're all good. That's not how it works. <laughs> we need to start looking at the New Year's as like a point in our lives that we reflect on our lives and we reflect on the people we have around us, our job, like, are we happy? What could make me happier? What do I need to change? Or, I don't know. We need to start looking at it as, we need, we need to start looking at it as an opportunity to look deeper into ourselves and to look at our lives and to make these goals, you know? Because if your life isn't fucking perfect, don't you want to try to make it to be? Even though it might, like, life will probably never be perfect. The New Year's is a chance to be like, okay, well, let's reset. And how can I make things better for me? Like, maybe you went through a breakup, or maybe you lost a friend, or you lost a job, or you've realized you're not happy in your job, or you think you're happy, but... Maybe you want to travel. Maybe there's something you want. And this is the time where you can sit down and say, okay, well, I'm going to start saving money because I want to travel to Florida. Like, I don't know why you want to travel there, but I want to travel to China. I don't know. I don't go anywhere. I would like to. So this is my time to sit down and say, what do I want to do this year? What will make me happier? I want to work on my YouTube. I want to work on myself. I want to work on training my puppy like there's so many things i want to make better about my life and if they aren't set in stone on like the first day of the year that's perfectly fucking fine and there's no reason you should beat yourself up about it because it's not realistic and it's just not meant to be if it's not meant to be this is a time to sit down and think what do I want to be? And how am I going to make that happen? And focus on your goals and make that shit happen. So when 2021 comes around, you're like, man, at the beginning of the year, I was in the dirt. The shit fucking sucked. And then, like, I worked on myself. And now I'm working like I'm boss of this company. Or I, I have a YouTube channel or I have a kid and I'm married or like I bought a goldfish. I don't know, just anything. Like it could be silly. It could be like, I really want to live in an apartment where I could have a pet. So like, that's going to be my goal as soon as my lease is up. Like I'm going to be looking for an apartment where I can get a dog or I want this job, so I need to start working on this, and I need to start applying at these places. Like, if your New Year started out not the best, that's perfectly fucking fine. Because it wasn't meant to be. And we need to change this thought of, like, it needs to be happy. It needs to be today, because that's not, that's only going to bring you down. And it's going to make you feel real bad because I felt real bad for <laughs> the first two days. And I was like, I, I don't get it. This sucks. I don't want the rest of my year to suck. And I had to tell myself, you know what? Everyone else is having a perfect time. It doesn't make sense that I would be having a perfect time when maybe they're having their perfect time. And maybe I needed this 
I needed this punch in the face, and I needed the world to tell me, like, shit is not perfect, and you're not happy with the... Th you're not happy with the way things are, so you need to look at yourself, and you need to change those things, or you need to start working on them, because change takes time, you know what I mean? So it doesn't make sense that you would start, like, working on yourself at maybe... It doesn't make sense that, like, the last month of the year you change all these things about you and then all of a sudden you're like a totally new person or it doesn't make sense like new year new me you can't change yourself in one day you just can't you it takes time and so if you had a tough christmas a tough holiday season like just a tough couple of months and maybe your new year's eve wasn't the best thing ever and you feel like what the fuck it's fine. I'm here to tell you that I felt the exact same way and I've come to realize that there are things I need to change and dreams I want to pursue and things I want to do and I can do those things. I just have to set my mind to them and you can do them too. We can both do them. So when it comes to 2021, we can tell ourselves, man, I was in the dirt, but now I'm in the sky. The beginning of the new year has been tough for me too. And you and me, we can make it together. And I definitely never ever want to give up YouTube. And to people who continue to support me, you, you are you're a real one you're a real one and i thank you ten thousand million times over and over again to all my fans from 2019 and all my fans in 2020 <laughs> i love you more than i love myself <laughs> not more than i love smoochie but more than i love myself i love you so i hope we've all come to an understanding that your life does not have to be picture perfect and it is ill if it is not picture perfect that this is the time to not to make it that way but to strive to make it that way to make changes and to make conscious decisions and just tell yourself that you're a strong person and the things you want are doable and you are capable and you are beautiful and no matter what you're going through it's gonna work out or it's gonna get better or it's gonna you know I'm trying to tell myself this <laughs> and, uh, I'm like I it's not that I don't believe it but I'm trying to build myself up too and I'm trying to tell myself that I am not the strongest person but I am making I'm trying and it's okay that my New Year's wasn't the best because it wasn't meant to be. This wasn't my New Year's, I guess. And if my New Year's is never perfect, that's perfectly fine. Why does my timeline have to match up with the world's timeline? That's unrealistic. You have your own timeline and you can flourish whenever you fucking flourish and if that's next month good for you if that's in two months good for you too and if if that's in like six months you can do it you can get there <laughs> we can do it together you and me so do you have any new year's resolutions what are they Comment down below, of course, because I want to know, of course, I want to hear them. I'm going to share mine with y'all. I want to not be so freaking attached to objects. This is a problem I faced, like, probably my whole life, honestly. I remember when I was in school, I would stress over objects that were at home, <laughs> and... I would literally be sitting at my desk or just out in public or just 
anywhere and I would be like, where is that shirt that I bought that I really like? I think it's in my closet or maybe it's in my drawer. Well, when I get home, I'm gonna look for it until I find it. And if I don't find it, I don't even wanna think about it. I'm not even gonna think about it because I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna look for it. And I would literally do just that. I would go home, I would go to my room and I would find like whatever it was I was stressing about. And I put, I put so much feeling and love into objects, I realized like it's backfired on me almost in a way. And it causes me an insane amount of stress. For example, if I can't find something, if I've lost it, if it's broken, if someone else is using it and they didn't ask me. <sighs> no. I also almost hoard things and I will keep things that have no value at all because they have sentimental value to me. Like, I've had so many things in my life. Sorry. I've had so many things in my life that I knew if I lost them, I would probably just forget about them. And I would never ever think about it again. And there's probably like so many things that I have lost. And I thought like, oh, if I lose this, I'm gonna be so sad. Ah, and then I lost it and I don't even remember what it is now, like at this point. But I would stress so much about losing things. Like, what if I lose this? I'll die. Move, you're moving my camera. If I lose this, I'll cry. Or I don't even know what I'll do. I'll just be so freaking sad. And I put so much stress and so much love into objects that it's driven me crazy. And... I keep so many things and I realized that like they don't make me as happy as they used to like having all these things that I thought I had to have doesn't make me happy it just makes me stressed <laughs> because I don't want to lose them I don't want to break them I don't want them to be ruined and so I'm like putting them in secret places and then I'm losing them or I'm like, move. Essentially, it was a problem and it needed to be addressed. So, 2020 is the year I address my problem with objects. Right, Moo? Like, Moo has, like, nothing. And he's a happy little pup. All he wants to do is go outside. Yeah. So I told y'all my New Year's resolution was to not be so obsessed with objects. And the only way that was going to happen was to like get rid of fucking everything and just start all over and try my hardest to not end up with like boxes and boxes and boxes of things again. So this is currently my closet and bitch it's empty like it's it's as barren as the desert excuse the little fucks from smooch's toy he tore out but honestly all i have right here are two jackets and this is my little phone stand. I take selfies and stuff with this. I love this so much actually because it has this little remote control that is Bluetooth and when I click this button, it'll take pictures on my phone and I fucking love that. And then I got a computer. I got some brand new socks I haven't even worn. These are the socks I've worn and washed. Um, these were a Christmas present. There's Smoochie's face. Look at his, his little eyes are closed and his little tongue is sticking out. He's so cute. So, I wear this sometimes. And then these are my granny panties, okay? Don't judge me. I'm sure that I'll 
like very soon purchase some cuter looking underwear but there is nothing wrong with having home comfortable underwear and don't ever let anyone tell you that like your underwear is ugly or like i don't buy underwear from walmart or like i don't know man not everyone is living luxury and sometimes you're on a budget and there's nothing wrong with having comfortable underwear for home so there's those um this is a really pretty choker it's like super duper pretty actually i'm obsessed then i have these were a christmas present they're really pretty i'll show you so this one is my old one that i was wearing and then someone gave me these for christmas they're little pot leaves and these ones are little rasta colors and then this one has a little pink diamond and then these little pink pot leaves and they're gorgeous actually i really really like this one i like both of them but i don't usually wear them because they're so jingly they get caught on things and it hurts when they pull but if you ever see my tummy if i'm ever out for some reason acting sexy and my tummy's showing like you'll probably see these because i love them i don't know if you wanted to see the one i'm wearing but it has like this little white pearl kind of it's kind of colorful in the light it's really really pretty i usually wear that one all the time i'll just pick like one that's really comfortable and i'll wear it until i buy a new one essentially but i love the one i have on right now so i just put these back in their little baggie until i'm feeling a little hoish put these in my choker on and feel like i'm ready to go so yeah i have those and then I got a beanie. I really like this beanie. It's real cute. Um, and then this is all the weed stuff I have. This little pipe. It glows in the dark, actually. I had no idea. And we'll have to load a fresh bowl. But, yep. And I really like this. And then this was also a present. It's got some sexy things in it. I'll show you. So in here, I have like a really cute top, which I think is like adorable on me. Actually, these are gorgeous on me. Like they fit well too. They're not just like, I'm not just being cocky. Like they fit my body and that makes me super happy when that happens. <laughs> I have these cute shorts. They have little, little bow. I really like long socks, if you can tell, and these say Hustler on the side. And then I got these, and I have not tried, I've tried all this stuff on. I have not tried these on because they're like fishnet. I don't want to make any tears in them, and they look like they're really fragile. I just don't want to tear them up like before I actually use them, but you best believe that when the time comes... I'll be rocking these like I already know they're gonna look good they're gonna look real good and that essentially is it oh there's like you can see all the stuffing from Smoochie's toy he was playing with his toy earlier and he loves to pull he loves to pull out the stuffing oh mochi it's a new year it's a new mochi Tell me your dreams. What do you want to achieve? What's your New Year's resolution? You can work on it. You can do it. I believe in you too. This is Smoochie Shark, which is a little like deflated on the end because the stuffing he loves to rip the stuffing out he loves to rip the stuffing out oh oh there you go yeah yeah there you go that's how he does it that's how he does it just today i bought him a new bag of food 
I bought him a pack of tennis balls and then I bought him like this bowl for his food and his water. So he is living minimalistic. You don't wanna, do you want some new toys? I know I will buy you like 50,000 toys, so don't even worry about it. Don't even, I promise. I promise, babe. I'm trying to reach a point where Smoochie has more things than I have. Moo, you're crazy. <gasps> Go. Good job. I also bought him these bones, a little pack of bones, which he likes. He likes those a lot. So that is like everything I own right now. All my belongings. There's nothing in my room. I guess everything is being kept, kept, kept in my closet because as long, I cannot talk. As well as trying to not keep so many things, I'm trying to be like cleaner and less cluttered. And like I made my bed this morning. Like who am I? I'm trying to wake up and like do the dishes or just, I'm trying to be more organized, less stuffinized because it's been a problem for me. I don't know. I don't even trust New Year's anymore because like I said, I've come to all these realizations and I've come to realize that it really isn't what I thought it was or like it can be but it's not realistic that everyone else's life is going perfect all at the same time. And the stress of thinking I have to be perfect and if I'm not perfect, I'm a failure. And the rest of the year, like I said, these bad intentions, like that's, your intentions are one thing and the things that happen is another thing. So as long as you have good intentions, like that is all you can do, honestly. And if you're trying your hardest, then you're doing what you gotta do. You're doing your best, you know? And I'm proud of you. And I wanna tell you, if you didn't have a great year, neither did I. But it is perfectly okay. And take that and use that to your advantage. Take your punch in the face, okay? And figure it out. Figure yourself out. I know you can do it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. It definitely has not been easy. It definitely is not easy, but it's, I don't know, it is what it is, and I'm going to be working on myself at the same time as you. So just know that you're not alone. Do you have to go pee? Thank you for watching. I love you.